Well, I've been staying home so much lately. I feel like, you know, I mean, go for a walk here every so often. And now I'm like, and I do have to go and, you know, pay my child support and deposit a check and uh, go back home and do some more Bible studying because I'm a bad, bad, bad woman who ever drank anything, even though my ex-husband once said he liked a drunk wife. <clears throat> yeah, getting drunk can be fun so long as you're safe and you're happy. Um, getting a little tipsy can be fun. Getting addicted to alcohol to the point where you're not healthy and you're irresponsible, that's dangerous and that's not cool. But alcohol's legal, so is cannabis, so is cigarettes, so are cigarettes. Um, we have a lot of vices in our, at least in Oregon, that are legal. Um, adultery is legal. It's not illegal. Sex is not illegal. Food's not illegal. Those seven deadly sins are not illegal, except for killing. Killing's illegal. It's not illegal, though, to write a story and kill your fictional character. That's not illegal. I guess in Lane County, it's not illegal to do character defamation either, because that's what was done to me by my ex-husband's lawyer. So, it's funny that I, once upon a time, only got like $465 a month in child support, no alimony, and I wasn't given the house to raise my kids in, so I wasn't allowed to give my kids a stable home, as I was forced to put it on the market and sell it by Judge Zanacci, who also didn't take into consideration that I had had 20 years of a marriage and 15 years of being a stay-at-home mother homeschooling and wasn't really prepared and quite ready to go out into the big world and take on full-time work, full-time school, which I didn't have to go to school. I was told if you go to school, you get a better job at the end of all of your schooling because it improves you. And then <clears throat> um, I was in and out of recovery, but nothing I do matters because when you've screwed up and you have a family that locks you into a certain... Um, image or certain understanding you're locked in or locked out so i put on here support mothers support writers shame on our government department of justice uh -uh, i have to pay more in child support for less for the support of less kids than my ex-husband ever had to um, pay me for the support of more kids so you can't be a good mother if you're not supported and so i put vengeance is mine says the lord and this coronavirus is a judgment of God because of domestic abuse, rape, stealing of children, and lying lawyers, and injustice. So I've got some family members that don't say anything wrong with drinking. They go out and have fun. They don't drink and drive. They go out and have fun. Responsible fun because they're adults. But I'm not treated like an adult, even though I'm an adult. I'm not treated like one. Why? Well, because of birth order. The babies of the family never get treated like they're ever adults. Nope. We get treated like we deserve disrespect. And women like me, according to my oldest daughter, should never have children. Even though my mother said I was built to have babies. And my ex-husband thought I was built to have sex, at least. And uh, my children are ashamed of me now. Because I ever did anything wrong in life, ever. I mean, other people get to do things that are wrong in life. They get to go gamble. That's a sin. They get to go to, you know, casinos and whoop it up. No problem gambling. My family is full of gamblers. And uh, I married a pool hustler. That's not... Nothing's wrong with pool hustling. Mm-hmm. Um... So sometimes I get an attitude where I get a little fed up with everyone's hypocrisy and double standards of what they get to do and have fun, but not me. And damn, now I just apologize for everything. I'm going right back to where I was. I'm sorry. Is it okay if I? 
That's what I started every sentence off with. Is, is it okay if I? So I had to ask everyone for permission to do anything. That's how I was trained as a kid. And that's basically how I was trained in my marriage to ask my husband for permission to do everything or anything. And if he said no, I didn't get to do it. That's called submit to your husband and everything. And call him Lord, just like Sarah did to Abraham. Huh? And when my husband said we were going to go out dancing and drinking, then by God, that's what we did. And when we're going to have kids, by God, we're going to have a lot of them. I'm not just going to stop at one. We're going to kind of repopulate the whole earth. So if the nut doesn't fall far from the family tree and my oldest daughter says that she doesn't think I should have ever had kids because I can get into a drunken rage and get upset. I, my best friend told me I was like a screaming marshmallow. So I'm driving around in my new town that I live in because, you know, my ex took over my old town, my hometown that I was born and raised in. My kids are running that show now. So this is my new town. I own this town. I own Spring Tucky. And I own Eugene. Those are those are my streets. I was a teenager on those streets. And I own Florence because that's where I was born. I own the whole state of Oregon. It belongs to me. It's in my name. L O R O R L O R R A. N C E. Pairing. It's a fish. It's fishy. It's fishy that I can act like I own everything, but I don't. You know, I know everybody's got their property boundaries and their personal boundaries, and I own my own laundry. I own my own dirty laundry. And everyone else gets to own their dirty laundry. And. Man, if I had seen the mountains of laundry, I was going to fold and wash and put away for my family. Years on end, all that work, unpaid work. I probably would have killed myself before I got done doing all that work. <sighs> thanklessness. Some people are just flat out thankless. Thankless.